Welcome to another parts video. In this video, we're going to take a look at some courtyard issues in Altium. Um, I couldn't decide whether I wanted to call this video Courtyard Blues, Courtyard Bugs, Courtyard Gotchas. Anyway, no matter what we call it, hope you found your way here. I hope you find it educational. Let's take a look. If you've ever been working in Altium and you've got your uh, component outlines and your courtyards defined, and you've got your layer type defined as courtyard, and your component outline defined as component outline using the drop down list. And if you check your selection filter, you'll see that we've got components enabled. In fact, we've got everything enabled. Now let's try to select this component. Just can't seem to grab onto it. Very frustrating. Until you maybe happen to grab right in the center and you realize that you can grab onto it. And also if you'll highlight across the part, you'll see this little circle right in the middle. And that would be our courtyard layer. Okay. So, um, by the way, I'm a contract PCB designer, so I don't have the luxury of defining every library that I work on. Um, when you're working on a customer's board, um, you can't always uh, go back, push back on the customer and tell them that uh, they are got library problems, you can make suggestions, um, but you may have to work within the boundaries of what they've given you. And so in here, I've got a situation where very difficult to select a part. Here's our workaround. At least for this project, we'll change the courtyard type to NA, not applicable. And suddenly now, you can just grab onto the component, no problems whatsoever. Again, if the user would have drawn a courtyard around the component, um, it would have grabbed onto that. Um, but anyway, a good workaround is to just go into your courtyard, turn layer type to NA, and you'll be able to grab your parts again. Hope you enjoyed that tip. You might also be interested in taking a look at a, an Altium script I call Mech Layer Tools that I created. Um, that can help you to unpair a component pair and um, without having to delete any primitives. Um, anyway, it's a nice little tool. Like if you're trying to rearrange your component pairs, I'd suggest you take a look at using it. I think it'll help you out. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. Have a great day. I'll leave a link down below where you can find your way over to the script. You can find it over at pcbpartsblogspot.com. I'll leave that link down below. Thanks for watching the video.